Mellow Bucks has has issued out an apology, has made an apology after saying some foul shit the other day. Uh, now, I did a video. The video is going to drop the same day as this one, but I did. A, I, I already did like a reaction to what she said. But just to just to just to go back to what she said. She was arguing with somebody who was talking shit about her outfit, and she went on to say this. Discretion advised. You have been warned. She say, Marnie down to the ground. I'm thinking she's trying to say ground, but, but you know them drugs. Dirty ho, 6K on my body added up. You broke on my soul. You can't show me 3,000 right now. I have a motherfucker stick up. <sighs> exactly. So, <sighs> she said this. And then not only did she say that, she, 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 she doubled down on, she doubled down on what she said. Now, I know a lot of people is going to be like, oh, my God, she already apologized. Like, let, like, like, let this be in the past. No, shut the fuck up. She shouldn't have said it. She's famous. So, uh, <clears throat> we just going to play the video. I'm a bully and I'm this and I'm bogus and all this always limits on what you should say. I don't give a fuck. Fuck y'all. And fuck whoever. Fuck y'all. Fuck them. Fuck them. Bitch in the ass. Fuck them. With no grief. Out in the ass. I don't care. Fuck them. I don't care. Fuck all y'all. All y'all get fucked in the ass. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. All right. So look, man. So y'all done seen the shit she said. She over there smoking the backwood. Uh, not that that's important, but <clears throat> that's what she said. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so she goes on Facebook and she makes a post. Now she's posting from her pretty op secondary page. Apparently, well, not even apparently, but obviously the shit that she said was so just just Yeah. It was so bad that Facebook Mark Zuckerberg said, Man, Mellow Bucks, your ass is tweaking. I gotta I gotta hit your ass with that. I gotta hit your ass with the Gotta get your ass up out of here. I ain't gonna lie. But uh she said Yesterday I said something I shouldn't have said. It was a buildup of things that triggered me. When I argue with people, I try to say shit that's going to get your ass as hot as me. Or that's going to get you as hot as me. I'm over here saying too many words. I don't know. <laughs> hey, maybe I'm sipping too much of this. <laughs> Shout out Diddy. <laughs> Anyways, uh... If you know, you know. Anybody that knows me for real knows that it's nowhere in my blood to do something like that. The problem is that everybody don't know me for real and not going to understand me. Even though this is all true, it's no excuse for what I've said. So, she goes on to say, I'm taking accountability. Accountability. As a grown woman, I can admit what I said was too far. I'm never too big headed to where I can't take my pride out of my pocket and acknowledge when I'm wrong. Me and her had a conversation and handled our problem like women and got to the root of the issue. I apologize to her and extending it to anybody who was offended. I'm still growing, learning and working on being the best version of me. I don't always have it figured out. Don't beat me down, but redirect me to get up and make it right. And then she tagged her, uh, her main page, Mellow Bucks. Now, I ain't going to lie. Oh, boo -hoo. I, I, You know, when she say this, I feel a little bad. I'm just like, damn, she is human. People can make mistakes. But, you know, this is a prime example. Like, I already said in the last stream that she was going to make this apology statement. There's no, there's no way in hell that you're going to make the apology statement. But I want to say the biggest takeaways from this is that she actually made the step into um, resolving things with old girl that she was going back and forth with on the net about and on the net with. 
for her to make such a statement like this on her own, and I'm just assuming that this is on her own, just because of the nature of it, it's no real, it's no like, oh, I shouldn't try to say things like this, and I'm so sorry, and I need to set a better example for the people around me, I know my influence is gonna, like, it's no extra bullshit like that, like, um, Mellow Bucks, I know a lot of people don't really know who she is as a person, um, I kind of know who she is as a person. I went to the same high school as her. So just having four years of being around a motherfucker, even though like having four years of being around a motherfucker is, is definitely a decent amount of time just to understand that what she's saying right here is the truth. Not even also. And I'm, I'm going to take my bias personal, how I feel personally out of this, but I'm just on a, on a, on a personal level. I'm just going to vouch because I can make all the jokes and shit that I want to, but she's as down to earth and she is as humble and moral, um, moral minded and morally integral, uh, more, uh, minded than a lot of people out here. And I, I say that to say, because you know, I'm still growing, learning, and working on being the best version of me. A lot of people, when they fuck up, they don't say shit like this. I apologize to her and extending it to anybody who was offended. So, after doubling down, you know, and sometimes it takes, sometimes it definitely takes, like, having that moment of reflection and reflecting it and, and looking back on what the fuck you said to be like, shit, maybe I was tweaking. Maybe I maybe I was on one. Maybe I was just a little bit too turned up. You feel me? You know. And 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 and, and it's great that as a grown black woman from Chicago to have such a stance when kind of the norm in our city is 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 just violence, just shit getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And worse. Sometimes with a situation like that, if Mello Buck said what she said, sometimes a motherfucker just want to straight up kill your ass. But for this situation to go from something bad to actually now being resolved, think, uh, the, the right steps are being taken into making sure that, you know, these things don't happen anymore in the future. That's the example that a lot of our youth needs to be seeing. And... You know, once when you're a regular person versus when you have tons of people singing your song, want to act like you, dress like you, be like you, had the same confidence that you have, it's different. It's different. The shit that you do is really not cool if it's fucked. Like, when you do fucked up shit, that's fucked up shit that everybody sees now. It's not some fucked up shit that you did and that you could just tuck away and hide it in your, in, in your, in your mental and never tell anybody about. No, it's actually some shit that everybody's going to see and that you're going to have to answer for and that you're going to be responsible for. So you better watch what the fuck you say if you are an artist that's on a uh, on a come up and you're trying to make a name for yourself. Let this be an example. And I'm not even saying let this be an example as in, you know, uh, this like 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 she did something like just let this be an example. Never let a heated situation. Don't never let a heated situation take you away or make you feel hesitant to do the right shit and resolving things. The number one thing and the number one reason why people get into it, why people die, why people harm each other, why people hate each other, why people don't fuck with each other, why people want to do fucked up shit to each other is because of pride and ego. Everybody thinks they don't deserve, like everybody thinks they're somebody. But when you have somebody as humble as this, Man, shout out Mellow Bucks, man. <laughs> shout out Mellow Bucks, gang. That's how we gonna start out the fucking stream. Shout, shout out Mellow Bucks, man. Mellow, the fucking goat.